to your response to what Wikispeed did last year. By then, we'll be on a moon base, rapidly dropping uh, 100 mile per gallon cars all around. Our prototypes are $25,000. That's what finances our development for the comfy, cozy commuter car. It's not the car I think most people would want to drive every day. They could. It would be capable. But it, it's like a race car. But we need nine more brave prototype enthusiasts, owner test drivers, to give us feedback on those to directly feed into the product development queue of our comfy commuter car. And that will finance the development of it. Wow. Yes, in the front was the next hand I saw. Okay. You got one back. Why yeah, I wanted to. Oh, Why okay. Why not lease them for six months, get the feedback, and then lease them again and make more money than 25? That's amazing! So the question was, why not lease out the Wikispeed cars? If you or someone you know would like to help us develop the lease terms, <laughs> <laughs> we would be thrilled to take that on. So, so the answer is merely uh, uh, a demand and capability, right? If we had 10 people saying we're ready for a lease, we have had one person say we're ready for a lease and we started to develop lease terms with them. Um, if we had 10 people, we would completely reprioritize, exactly to your point, because the goal is to get customer feedback and then have revenue to support development. So any method is fair game. And if you would like to help us with that, email info at wikispeed.com. <laughs> and then in the back, yes, absolutely. Very impressive. Uh, I'm wondering, what could have possibly beat that? What were the first nine slots, and, and did they use any of your methods? Right, right. So we absolutely didn't win. We tied for 10th in the mainstream class. The question was, hey, that looked pretty good. Other people won the XPRIZE competition? Competition? There were nine cars ahead of you? What did they do? Right? Well, the team that ultimately won was very well funded, which is fantastic. I'm thrilled they were able to and chose to dedicate that, much, that many resources towards this ultra-efficiency challenge. And they built a whole lot of cars. They were the only team that entered more than one car in the race. In fact, there was a question, well, are you allowed to enter more than one cars? Because most of us didn't even think of it. Which is really too bad. On our that team Wikispeed wasn't financed to be able to do it regardless. Um, but they ultimately entered four cars in the race out of many other cars that had been developed. And so their strategy, instead of reducing the cost to make change, was, well, let's just develop everything we can think of, or are all the methods responsible. And they came up with something pretty slick. Edison 2 is the name of the, of the team that won the mainstream class in the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. And I'm a fan of their car. Unfortunately, last I heard, they said they had no plans to productize it and make it available for market. I hope I misunderstood or they changed their mind. Because it is a slick car. Um, it's, uh, I, I could nerd out about that for a whole hour. Uh, <laughs> but you can look them up at Edison 2. Any other questions? How are we doing on time? Uh, I don't have the agenda. I forgot to prepare. <laughs> so I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, I think Joe's really set the stage for a new way of thinking. And I used this phrase many times before about you know thinking outside the box. When I heard Joe, I said, what box? <laughs> They're really doing it differently, taking all those technologies 